Hello world, hello everyone. Kisses from Russia. <laughs> yes, here we are with another video about photography, about Russian cameras. <laughs> because the protagonist of today is another Russian camera at Zenit, one of the Zenit series because there are many types of Zenit and this is a Zenit 22 Zenit 22 and um, have a look because we are in good company we have the Zenit ET um, but not today because today the protagonist is the Zenit 122 but we are going to test also in the future an Agfa Matic 55C Fujika We already tested our Lubitel um, Flushes Did I forget someone? I don't think so So let's begin with our Zenit 122 some of you I've seen that I have many types of Zenith, so it's interesting. Let me know if you have a Zenith, if you ever tested it, so what do you think about Zenith? Let me know in the comments. So, this, let's open it. Mm. Okay. So... Zenit 122, like I've told you, the Zenit 122 is a Russian camera, is a 35mm SLR made in Russia by Key and Z. It was introduced in 1990s, so it isn't, it's a very recent camera, it's not a vintage camera. Uh, it's very strong, I must admit that when I, um, when I look at the body, I can see why it doesn't have any type of damage, very strong, very resistant. So, <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to test it in this way. So, since I didn't know the uh, characteristic of this camera, I went through internet and I found out that there is a site, a very interesting site, Camerapedia, which has a page dedicated to this camera, the Zenit 122. And um, in, this, uh, in this page, you can see that there are some links link from where you can download the manual is the instruction manual in English in Russia naturally and in Spanish also Uh, this Zenit model has a light meter, which is alimented. It's very, very useful because it indicates if the photo is underexposed, is uh, overexposed through a LED, which can be seen um, in the viewfinder. When you look through the viewfinder and the light meter is functioning, you can see if your photography, if your setting will give you an underexposed or overexposed photography. Or is it okay? But the light meter is alimented by a battery, so we're going to first of all remove the old battery, which is.
to first of all remove the old battery which is inside be careful because it can explode <laughs> yes and there was a battery i have that um oh oh i'm god ah i'm g oh two batteries so there are two batteries i hope that everything is fine that it wasn't damaged i'm going to i'm going to clean it later at the moment i'm going to close it again oh anyway, you can use to open it and to close it if you don't have a screw you can use a simple coin it's quite easy to use okay very professional <laughs> We must check it out if the battery works. So press outweigh the shutter button and look through your viewfinder. If you see any LEDs uh, um, appearing in your viewfinder, then it works. Otherwise, you're screwed. So I'm going to test it, but I'm going. I have to buy some batteries. So we missed the most important things. The <laughs> <laughs> the, the field. Let's see if uh, even this time we find some surprise. So, to open up, we must just. Okay. No surprise this time. <laughs> so. Normally you load your camera here in this empty space. It works with normal 35 millimeter film. And once you load it, it you'll just close down, press it down again, close, and we're ready and set to go. So let's take a look to our shutter speed, like I've told you. Here we are from 30 to 500. We can go from 30 to 500 and there is also a command for long exposure, which is indicated by B. We must align our desired configuration with this sign with this white sign here okay so now just set our aperture it has a, a range from 2.8 to 16 And you're going to actually see a preview of your configuration in your viewfinder. Yes, that will feel. You're going to see while you close and open the diaphragm. You're going to actually see it. It's quite, it's quite fantastic. 
I can assure you that it's quite fantastic to actually see the diaphragm closing and open. Now it's all open. Fantastic. This review for me is fantastic. So like I've told you, um, while you when you have configured your camera and you try to up-press your shutter, you'll see if you if your image all came out underexposed, overexposed, or you to pay from the LED, which will appear on the right, red on the upper part if it's overexposed, red on the up in the right under part if it's uh, mm, underexposed, and green if it's okay. This is a regulation for the ISO. You can regulate the ISO from 25 to 400. Oh, there is a soft timer set by first looking down the shutter release and setting it. Okay. Do you like self timer? Because we have a self timer. So this is the control. I'm going to turn it until it stops. And do you see this red windows turning green? Okay, it indicates that we have set our timer, which is going to delay our shutter of seven seconds. So press it here. Done it. So long exposure because we have a we have long exposure. So you just have to turn the shutter speed in the B position. Okay, it's not more it's not very clear, so I'm going to put some video which show it more clearly. Once it is done it, you charge it and already charge it. And you don't just press your shutter, you press it and rotate it to T, to the position T, because there are two positions, T and V. When you want to open your shutter in the long exposure mode, you turn it and rotate it to T. When you want to close it, you rotate it to V. Okay, this is strange. Zenit 122 normally have the option to detach and mount different type of lenses at this event, but it's okay for me. me and you have the option to shut photo with flash we have two options I'm going to mount this uh, Agatha Tronic 2071A it's quite nice you must turn it on once you have mounted it okay and there are some regulations we are going to look it through or there is the star blitz Star Blitz 200 ham. Which one? Which one? Okay, I'm going to go with the Agathotronic because we are just testing, testing it for virtually. I have to. Uh, I still have to take batteries. I still have to get some 35 millimeter film. So here we are. We have to set. 
the shutter speed to 30 because this is the speed oh and normally the 30 is indicated in green and this 122 is red okay so this is the shutter speed that you have to use with flash 30 so you charge your camera you set it all and you just shut Naturally, you have a focus that will help you, a focus ring that will help you to get and focus your image. And uh, on the focusing screen, you've got a micro prism and the split image of focus aids. So last but not least, we must collect our film. We must upload our film. How are we going to do it? Once you have took your last shot, you press this button, which is near the shutter. It is normally indicated with an RF, but this then it's 122. It's quite different. It is very peculiar because not only it doesn't have the option to uh, change the lenses, it also has some of the function indicated with the Cyrillic character. So, once you have pressed, you lift the wind this level, lever, okay, and you turn it in the direction indicated by the arrow. You turn it until you feel a slight resistance, which indicates that you are done. And like when we upload our film, we pull it up and open and we collect our precious film. And naturally there is no film to collect in this case, <laughs> it's empty. But I promise you in the next day I'm going to actually test this machine. But we have a business still a business with our Louvitel number two. Why? Why? Because I took my role to develop. So I hope that in the next day we are going to see the results. And while we wait, uh, Stefan and Diana, whom I thank again, um, gave me as a gift, sent me as a gift, uh, a film for my Louvitel that I'm going to use in the next day. So. First, I'm going to use uh, the film for the Lubitel and then I'm going to test this Zenit 122. Let's see what it turned it up. So, this is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoy it. See you in the next video, which is going to be <laughs> yours is a choice. Are you or we keep it going with the Zenit ET? or we test the Fujika, or we have the Agfamatic, Agfamatic 55C, yours is choice. See you, see you in the next video, have a great day, ciao!